Hi guys, welcome back to the Little Piece Head and Farm. And today we're in the kitchen and we're gonna make some freezer meals. But it's like my take on old TV dinners. Um, back when I was younger, we used to have uh, Swanson and uh, I think Hungry Man. It might still be around because I haven't bought any of those. <laughs> but I figure we can make little meals like that um, for our freezers. So, you know, if I want something different besides what uh, Farron is going to eat and vice versa. So I figure we'll make some little meals like that and see how they go, okay? So I'm gonna take you on to this little adventure today. And the first meal that we're gonna be making is Asian expired, inspired. Um, I ran out of my teriyaki sauce that I canned and I make, there is a playlist of all the different Asian sauces that I canned up and I'll have fair Put them somewhere here <laughs> and um, so today we're gonna do beef I cut up some stew meat um, and I have uh, some onions broccoli uh, celery all that stuff already pre-chopped and we're gonna use a general salad sauce so it's gonna be a little spicy but not not boiling hot. So uh, that's what we're going to fix. I already pre uh, made my rice. So let's get into it and get this going. And I'll take you over to the stove for the first one. Okay guys, I got my cast iron heating up with some olive oil. And here's all my veg. I have these are onion, uh, onions and green peppers and celery from our garden last year. And some broccoli. And I have a pound of stew meat that I cut up like in little mouse size portions, little tiny pieces, smaller than what they were. And we're going to use some salt and pepper and our general cell that we have. So the first thing I'm going to be putting in is some onion. You put in as little as or much as you want. I'm going to get some onion powder and some garlic powder. Add in some green pepper. And some celery. I mean, this isn't like your traditional general style. Usually general style is with chicken. But I'm using beef today. This is what I have. And why not make it a little different than what normally happens. So this is my take on like more or less beef and broccoli since I'm all out of my teriyaki. So if you wanted to do a traditional beef and broccoli, um, you would use a teriyaki sauce. Or you can also make it sweet and sour. But we're just going to let this uh, get nice and soft, translucent. Okay, guys, 
guys, we're going to add our beef in. One pound of stew meat. Add a little garlic. Little onion. Just like a teaspoon or so. Tiny, tiny pinch of salt. And some pepper. And we're going to brown this meat up. Ooh, caught my mouth on fire. <laughs> oh, goodness, poor thing. He's a little too long for my, <laughs> for, for my uh, handle here. I'll just fold him in here. <laughs> ah. It's a flame on. <laughs> oh, that's just too funny. Hazards in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, that was a, pot, a party foul for sure. Okay, we're going to let this go for a few more minutes and then we're going to add our sauce in. And I'm going to make up a, uh, a little bit of a slurry. Okay. Stir this up a little bit. In case of any of the goodness separated while you can. And we're just going to pour some in. cornstarch slurry. You can use flour, cornstarch, tapioca, whatever you use to thicken up your some of your sauces. This already smells divine. And it's one of the ways to use some of your pantry items if you do canning or, um, you know, cleaning out your freezer, doing a rotation and things to that of that na nature, you know. Okay, guys. These are like little three and a half cup containers and I'll have fair and link them down below uh, they have nice airtight lids and it will be perfect for our little 
TV dinners or meal prep, whatever you want to call it. But I'm calling this little segment, <laughs> little TV dinners. I mean, why not? You know, uh, if it's more than, than yourself, say your husband and maybe a child, they each can pick out what they want instead of having this, you know, what you're having. So this is like my take on TV dinners. So what I'm gonna do is take some of my broccoli, and yes, we didn't cook, cook this, because for me, I like my broccoli crunchy. So when it goes into the microwave, it'll get steamed. And I'm gonna put some of my rice in the middle. And there's no right way or wrong way to do to do this. You just eyeball it for yourself, okay? And portion it out the way you see fit. See, that does not look great already. Just got to get a napkin and clean up the edge there, and then I'll be good. Okay, guys. See? All right. We're going to put this to the side and let it all cool down. You got to let these cool down before you put them in the freezer, okay? They got to be room temperature. And I'm hoping to maybe get four little meals out of this. We shall see. I have more broccoli if I need it, which looks like I might. But some of you have commented that you really like these little meal ideas and ha and you wanted me to keep making them. So, that's what I'm doing. And I'm, in the meantime, I'm also cleaning out the freezers. You know, ro rotating the, the meats and stuff out and, you know, getting things together and also using some of our stuff in the pantry of our canned goods. This looks so, so good, and it smells divine. Let's clean up the edges. There you go. Okay, guys. Our, we got the meatloaf in the oven. We, and the potatoes are just now starting to boil. So, we'll get on to our next one. I have three pounds of ground beef, and I put in the rest of the uh, oats. And there's only oh, probably a, like a quarter cup, really. And, okay. I'm going to crack in two eggs. some Italian season seasoning this is all to I how much you like everybody's a little different Just eyeball it I'm putting in some onion powder some 
some garlic. And some minced onion. And I'm putting in some panko breadcrumbs. And we're just gonna get in here and use our hands. And if I thought about it way ahead of time, I would have used the kitchen aid. But I didn't. So we're gonna get this going. And just mix it up the best you can. And just keep folding it on itself till you get it mixed. You can add a ketchup, A1 sauce, and whatever. Make your meatballs the way you want to make them. Okay. And you can make your meatballs. I think this one's a little too small. This one might be a little too big. I need to find something in the middle. So, I think I'll just take half of it and then just roll it into a nice little ball and put it down on our parchment, okay? Can't you guys see that? Okay guys, we got a pan and a quarter of meatballs and we'll be putting them in um, the oven now while they're cooking with the meatloaf and we'll check back on them from time to time and the potatoes are done so we'll make mashed potatoes here okay guys I've already drained the potatoes I'm gonna put in a couple dollops of sour cream some heavy cream and some pepper and thinking about it I think I'll put in some and some dried chives I have and then I'll top it with maybe green onions before I'll put it in the freezer. I think I have some green onions left. 
And we're just gonna mix this up with a hand mixer. Okay. guys these are done so we're gonna let them I'll cover them with a towel and uh, then uh, wait for the meatloaf to get done and check on the meatballs and uh, we'll start getting everything else ready for that and do up some dishes and then I'll bring you back. So we're gonna let these cool because we need them to cool. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun day. Stay tuned. Okay guys, here is a different container. This is a four cup. And you notice there's three compartments. So that's pretty cool for our TV dinner. Uh, meal prep for the freezer. So what we're going to do, we're going to dish out some of our ingredients here and uh, get them rolling while everything else is cooling. Um, the meat meatloaf's out of the oven and so is the meatball. And we're just going to start filling these up. I figure maybe we'll do four of these. I want to have some for for dinner so we'll, we'll start off with two so i'm going to put some green beans in these little compartments and these are already frozen I got these containers, both sets, off of Amazon. And you can get plastic ones of these, too, on Amazon. Or, what I found out the other day, just by accident, you could get them also at Walmart. plastic ones at um I don't think they have I I'm not sure but I think they might have some glass ones I'm not not a hundred percent sure I think I'll do a couple more.
These are super fun to make. And like I said, you can also make these into family size casseroles or into big meals if you have enough containers. Um, some nine by nines or eight by eights for the mashed potatoes and maybe uh, something for the green beans. They do make those glass dishes with the two different compartments, but family size. Um, I don't want, I think it's like a casserole type of dish. But anyway, I'm gonna put some butter on the potatoes so we, when we freeze them. And I'm gonna recover this up. So just a little pat of butter, just something really thin. You don't have to do this. So when it's reheating in the microwave, get a little bit of goodness. And I'm gonna split one. and have it on the green beans. <coughs> there we go. Well, that's all ready. All right. Okay guys, the meatballs are pretty well cooled off. And I'm going to put them in these reusable quart bags. And I'm going to see how many we can get in per bag. Okay, there's 10 in that bag. I'm gonna try to get them as even as possible. Okay, this is <laughs> going pretty good. Okay, everybody got equal amount except 
two bags got one meatball extra. But that's how it goes. So it was like uh, about 20 meatballs per bag. So that's not bad. Let me dry my hands. And we will close these bags up, get all the air out as possible. And I'm going to show you how to write on them. Okay, all right, I know I showed you these pens before, but this one is a chalk Sharpie. And my other ones I have is a paint. The paint ones work great on glass, like on your uh, mason jars. So, like, I, I can also with um, glass lids, too. So, writing on the jars is a lot better. Then all you have to use is a scrubby on the glass and scrub it off. Now, I did write on a couple of my freezer meals with, with this pen. So, I'm going to have to really scrub it to get it off. Or the chalk... Sharpie is good for plastic and all you have to do is wet it and it'll come right off So that's pretty cool with a sponge. So It's the black one for the chalk Okay, and it does say chalk and I'll have fair and link these Both of these pens one for the white one is paint and the black one is chalk. So, we are going to write on these and let me bring you down closer so you can see how easy they are to write on the bags. Isn't that pretty cool? So we'll let those dry. So I have three bags, three quart size bags of meatballs. So I have whatever I want to make these with for like spaghetti and meatballs maybe or meatball sub but yeah 
There you have it. Pretty cool, guys, right? So, oh, I lost you. <laughs> there you go. So, those are pretty cool. All right, I'll bring you back when the meatloaf is cooled and we'll get the other containers going. And then we'll hope, you know, finish this, this up. Okay, it, meatloaf has cooled off somewhat. I'm just gonna cut out some pieces here. And we're just gonna stick them in the little pans and we'll let them cool off that way. First piece never wants to come out clean. That's okay. I don't mind this being crumbly. Still a little warm. It needs time to set up. But, hey, we have dinner for tonight. That's all that matters from cooking all this today. Okay. So, to show you, I already wrote on these, and these little lids for these glass containers are plastic. So, I used the chalk pencil, or Sharpie, to write on them. And I will do the same with these. I'll get a lid and I'll show you. But let me put some ketchup on. And this is my homemade ketchup. I have a link. I'll have Farron put a link to it. And I'll make it every year. There, we'll let these guys cool off. And we'll move him back over here. And let's see, where, can, where would be a good one? So if I move you closer, would that be better? Let's see. Oops, sorry for the jiggling. Okay. So, this is what I want to write. And this is the chalk one, see? To thaw it out. Before you use it, 350 degree oven for about 
20 to 25 minutes if you're going to heat it up that way or microwave it for five minutes. Okay. So it's meatloaf with potatoes. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to show you all what we've done today. And we made quite a few meals. This is awesome. Can't get any better than that, right? guys look at all the meals and the meatballs that's a pretty good day's work right there afternoon I should say you know, plating them all up, getting them, waiting for them to cool down. You know, we got all those. And our meatloaf. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me this afternoon. And having a lot of good fun with this new adventure. And, you know, uh, growing season is just right around the corner. Farron's been planning up some stuff. Um, we got our potatoes in today. And he uh, started planting those. So, yeah. You know, growing season's here. We're planning planting and starting seeds and next thing you know we're going to be canning a lot so that's good so maybe we'll come up with some new canning ideas and uh, in the meantime we'll keep doing what we've been doing working with the starter and now freezer meals yeah okay thanks for hanging out with me guys and i love you guys thanks for Stopping by. Bye now.